Good morning. Welcome to Quest Bites. Happy Friday. I am your host, Corinne Cahill. I'm so glad you're joining me this morning as I am in the air, in the cockpit of this plane, because we are making the most coolest airplanes, paper airplanes ever. And you won't believe that it's going to fly, but it does. So I will explain all of that. But first, let's play Spot the Quapples. I'll put 30 seconds on the clock for you to try and find them on the plane. Maybe this is the plane that I'm in. Let's just say it is. About 25 seconds left. I know it's a little hard to see on the gray pavement. And 15. Let me know if you're able to find them. Let me know if you're watching this morning. 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Here's the answers. Were you able to find all five across the plane? Now a few of these are hidden pretty well, especially since all of that is red. So if you're able to find them, awesome. If you did not, no worries. We'll play again on Monday. Just make sure you're here right at 930 so that you can get in on the fun. So we are making gyroplanes today. They don't look like this. <laughs> They are very unique, so what are you going to need to grab to make them? Pretty simple, piece of paper, like any paper airplane, a straw, tape, and you'll need scissors. So let's just go right into how you set this up. First, you're going to grab your scissors, have a parent help you measure out. You'll need one by 15 centimeters and then two by 20 centimeters. That says one by 20, but it is supposed to be two by 20. Um, then you're going to cut your straw. If you have a bendy straw, you'll just cut that right at the bendy part. So cut off the bendy. <laughs> and then you're going to tape those rings closed. You can obviously see they're not both one centimeter because the one is bigger. So you do need one that's a little bigger than the other one. You'll make two rings and then you're going to tape those on to the straw. Super easy to make, right? And I even that have an easy button to demonstrate how easy this is. So let's just see how this works. I've never seen these before and I didn't really think they were gonna fly, but I was very surprised. Essentially, this is a case of air resistance and drag slowing down the fall of the gyro. I asked our resident pilot, Heather O'Kelly, about how this works um, because I couldn't explain it myself. Gravity causes the gyro plane to fall. The air resistance on the blades pushes them upward and the compressed air under the blades plus the drag on the blades themselves causes them to spin and slows the gyrocopter's fall. These words are hard to say together. Really, all flying happens because of the Bernoulli's principle, more specifically the Venturi effect. So as air goes fast over the top of the wing or airfoil, the air pressure decreases. Based on Newton's third law of motion, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, which means in order for the world to be right, there has to be a high pressure on the bottom and slow speed airflow on the bottom as well. Pretty cool, right? And better yet, it spins. You can really see it in the slow-mo. I had Danica here helping me as my guest star. She was in the office yesterday and was very happy to help me with the quest bites. Um, and she had great form for her paper airplane throwing. I was very impressed. So we'll put the instructions in the comments so that you can try this lesson. Send us your pictures and videos when you're able to make them. According to Danica, this is very cool. That's what she said when she first threw it. So you've got to try this yourself. See how far you can throw them. And you do want to hold them with the rings up right in between, right in the middle of that straw. And you kind of want to throw it a little bit up so that it'll really go far. So you'll get the technique down. Just try it a couple different ways. Maybe you can try it with different paper. Um, but I want to see what you guys come up with. So I hope you join us for Magic Monday because we are going to be painting with sunscreen. Super fun. You won't want to miss it. So make sure you're here right at 930 Monday morning. In the meantime, have a great weekend. Go make some gyroplanes. And until next time, continue onward with your quest for knowledge. And thanks for watching.